And thank you for joining us. I'm Lydia Colbita and I'm Casey Kantz. Cameras are everywhere in this day and age and we're used to facial recognition in places like airports. But today the New York State Department of Education said schools cannot buy or use facial recognition technology. News 10 ABC's Tamara Starr has more. Starting today, all schools within New York State can no longer use facial recognition technology. We went through the report that the Board of Education based its findings on and found that the concerns revolved around the difference between safety and privacy. According to the Commissioner of Education, the report on the technology identifies serious concerns regarding the use of facial recognition technology in schools, including a higher rate of false positives for people of color, non-binary and transgender people, women, the elderly, and children, as well as the ability of schools to use such technology without parental consent. In 2020, civil rights advocates wanted to stop the Lockport School District in Western New York from using the technology, claiming that it infringed on student privacy. The school district stopped using the $1.4 million system later that year. Lockport officials implemented the technology to help enable security officers to detect and respond to sex offenders, any weapons, or even disgruntled employees. While New York schools won't be using the technology, across the country, more schools have been using an AI-driven metal detector. Students walk through at a normal pace, but are pulled aside if the advanced sensors note a threat. In North Carolina, one district using this for over a year says it has been deterring students from bringing weapons. The Charlotte Mecklenburg School District reported there were 31 guns found on their campuses during the 2021-2022 school year. But last year, the first full year with the AI technology, that number dropped to seven. For now, all public and non-public elementary, secondary, and charter schools are not allowed to purchase or utilize facial recognition technology for any purpose other than fingerprint identification of prospective school employees or to identify employees exclusively. Reporting in Albany, Tamara Starr, News 10 ABC.